Tim Boyce with Click Funnels and Click Designs, and today we're going to be looking at a piece of software called Gayru. And this has sort of been a video from hell for me because things did not work out quite like I had planned them to work. Originally, I had planned on doing a video about a piece of software called Funnelytics, which did have a free forever version, which is not going to be free or available at the end of the year, this being 2023. Apparently, forever is not what it used to be. So, I decided we're going to work with Gayru here as our mapping software for Funnel and Gayru does not have a free version it does it is something you have to pay for and the rate starts at $39 a month I get it as part of my package with the ClickFunnels Funnel Builder program it's a good program for what it does but I understand people on a budget may not want to invest in that right now and so your best alternative is going to be Miro and I will show that at some point in the video. Now the good thing about Gayru is that it does allow me to print out a PDF of anything that I create. And in keeping with the history of Getterwood Studios and Click Funnels and Click Designs, there will be no gimmicks in today's video, no flashbang effects, no fancy jump cuts, no gimmicks at all, because this is the home of no gimmicks and I'm the least gimmicky guy you're ever going to find. And so with that, let's go ahead and start taking a look at Gayru. Tim Willis with ClickFunnels and Click Designs, and what we're looking at is a program called Gayru, and Gayru is Parental Advisory, a program you have to pay for. I was hoping to find a free alternative to using Gayru on these videos, but unfortunately the version that was free is no longer be free going into 2024. And so the only other option would be something like a whiteboard kind of program that's so generic that you could use to map out funnels and later in the video I will give you one of those options but what is Gayru? Gayru is a specialized software designed for funnel builders to map out diagram funnels it also has a calculating function where you can figure out expenses and see if the end of your traffic your cost everything whether you'll make money or not and it has a few reporting functions too. But right now we are just worried about the whiteboard area and, and using it to map out funnels. And so I'm going to give a brief demonstration of that today. And I'm going to build a lead squeeze funnel. If we look here to the left, we have a bunch of icons. Most of them look like um, pages of sort. There's some functional page, some functional icons. So let's build us a lead squeeze funnel, which is going to be a two-step funnel and it's designed to exchange a free item in exchange for an email address. So first we're going to need an opt-in page. And so here's our opt-in page. And these icons are, are customizable. I'm not going to do too much customization today, but just bear in mind that you can alter them quite a bit. All right, and then once we have our opt-in page, we're going to need a pop-up. And the pop-ups, you have to scroll down here to find. And there it is. Now, if I put the pop-up icon very close to the opt-in page icon, you'll notice that where there's this green Y in a circle, it will put an arrow. So, so Gabriel will allow us to show directional flow using arrows. And same thing applies to this red end down here. So we got our pop-up. Now we need a thank you page. And so we need to go back up here, get the thank you page, same thing. We got our funnel here and goes in the customer opt-in opt -in page. It brings, presses a button, brings a pop-up. We put an email address, we collect the email address. And then we direct them either email or via the thank you page to get their free item. One thing we don't have here is a traffic source. And so there's not any dedicated traffic source icons here, but we do have one called traffic entry, which we can put right here. Now we have to set that up, so we got to double click on it and then add a traffic source. We'll call this Facebook. And we're just going to go for the easy cliche and say that we're using Facebook ads. Now the rest of this, we don't really don't need to fill in because we're not doing any calculating functions, but we can just go ahead and save. And actually, I look like I had one from before. All right. 
So there we go. So now we have our traffic source, and you see we have now a directional arrow going there too. Now, the other thing we're probably going to want if we're doing a lead squeeze funnel is to, once we collect the email address from the customer, is send them an email, at least to thank them, and maybe a couple of other follow up emails in an email sequence. And so we have an email icon here, and I'm going to place it right here now you notice that right now there's no green air there's no green circle with a y or a red circle with an n here on the pop-up icon that's because by default it's not set up on certain icons but we can set it up by double clicking and where it says call to action say yes and then now you see it has those and so in this case what i'm going to do is and sometimes these arrows try to automatically work themselves in and so you just got to deal with that and you can always use your oh, x on the toolbar to do that so what i want here to do here is yeah it does get annoying sometimes and gero operates by circles i want to take my yes there on my email and indicate that after the pop-up we sent we sent them an email that we set up in our in either ClickFunnels 2.0 or autoresponder now beyond that what we can then we can duplicate this by using the duplicate function and here we see it automatically will connect the line and we'll duplicate once more And we're going to say that we sent them three emails in a sequence. And now we can indicate that. And that for today is all I'm going to be doing with Gayru. This was just an introduction to it. Then you see what it is because we're going to see it. I'm going to use it quite a bit. Now the good thing about Gayru is one of its functions is it does allow me to download anything I create in this whiteboard area as a PDF. And so once I create the, the schematics, I'll be able to create that PDF and make it available to people. And so that is it for the day. Just an introduction to Gayru. This is Tim Willis again. So that is our demonstration on Gayru for the day. I did mention earlier that it is a paid program. If you're not ready to pay for something, that I want to provide you a free alternative. Now, right now, the alternative I would guess is called Miro. And let me give you a small demonstration of that. After I do some research, I'll probably try to do a video on some of these different softwares we can use for a whiteboard and see which one they stack up to each other. But for right now, I'm just going to go with Miro because I'm familiar with it and it does have a free version. All right, this is Tim Willis, and what we're looking at here is a program called Miro. And Miro comes in both free and paid versions. And I am working with the free version, and that should be good enough for what we would do with it. Only occasionally use Miro, and it has a lot of options I haven't explored. I basically use it as your basic whiteboard. In a future video, and explore what's available in the free. But right now, we're just going to use it as a whiteboard. With Miro's free version, you get three captions. We can create a new board here. And right now it says on title, I'm going to just go ahead and give it a title of Project 1. There we go. So it's just basically a whiteboard. It's got a grid you can use. I've got some tools here. I already don't know too much about them. All our main stuff is going to be here on the left side. And the way I generally use it, if I'm going to map something out as a funnel, is that I'd take a shape and pick out a shape. Then you can draw a shape. And we'll just draw that like that. And then once you do that, 
got a flashing cursor on the inside where you can put some text in. So we'll put in opt-in with this one. And of course you can bold it and change the text size if you want to. And then the other thing we can do is we can click on our three dots and we can duplicate and we'll move it just a bit over here and we'll call this one to pop up and then we'll duplicate one more time and we'll call this one to thank you Okay, you see we're mirroring the lead squeeze funnel we built in Gayru. I'm not going to build out the whole thing here. I'm just showing the basic functionality. And then we do have a connection line which you can put on, which can be arrows or whatever choices you have here. We'll just go ahead and pick that. And you see it's got the dots that show up on the side. And sometimes with these arrow things, they kind of get funky. Let's go ahead and delete that one. Delete that. It's certainly not a perfect system, but it's a free system. All right, let's go back here and try this again. We put an arrow there. another arrow here I'm not sure why that first one's having two heads on it but I'm not going to worry about that too much right now and so we can do our directional flow and of course if you click on the arrow again it will also allow you to do it from the top or the bottom <clears throat> and that's basically how it is and then of course you can do other things like uh, I didn't want the arrow Take our pointer here and if we have the hand icon we can move the whole cabinets around or if we just got the pointer we can play somewhat with these and then you can import pictures and other things like that with Miro Let's see if it will let us and then it will let us put border colors there and then we can also put an interior color there so basically like any other whiteboard program and like I said it's not gay room but if you just need to map things out it will work and if your handwriting and freehand drawing is as bad as mine it may be the only way you can make sense of what you've created to somebody else and that is kind of the idea here then you have ability to share and I'm gonna to have to look more into some of these functions here but for right now if you just need something to map a funnel schematic out this will work and then like I said I'll look at some other possibilities for that because I kind of got thrown for a loop by the fact that the uh, funnel looks forever free is not going to be free forever and it won't be free starting in 2024 so as I said at the beginning of the video it kind of got kind of had to reconfigure things here at the last minute but I wanted to get this video out and that should do it so this is Tim Willis with ClickFunnels and Click Designs and I am a Click certified ClickFunnels funnel builder and I have this YouTube channel where I make video tutorials on ClickFunnels, Click Designs, and other useful tools. And there's also a corresponding Facebook group of the same name. So 
Until next time, that's the video for today, and we'll talk to you folks later.